so does I, Katie, Carson, the... <laughs> I was about to say... <laughs> The person who makes only soap. And then I was gonna pull that around and be like, because she has no friends. Look, I have two friends, okay? That's all I need. Anyway, welcome back to Royalty Soaps and another video in the 2020 Secret Soap Series. Before I talk about my own stuff, you guys should go follow Autumn Moon. Oh, it's literally on this side. Autumn Moon on Instagram. She is a Dallas designer art. This woman does everything. I've been following her religiously. I don't think she knows who I am. She is this boss babe that literally has like four businesses and I've been following her and I'm like a really big fan in sort of a nerdy way and she has the cutest designs. Her like little, she's got like a clothing line, a home line. She just opened up a storefront. Her family does construction. She's an interior designer. She's literally the whole thing and you should go follow her and tell her that I'm her biggest fan. Right. So this is the last load so this is the last artisan soap for the 2020 secret soap series. So this is the last artisan soap for the soap series. I'm praying these colors go the way I want them to. It could be that I have to tweak them as I go along. That's just the way it is. I wish I could tell you more, but I can't. <laughs> so without further ado, let's make some soap. <laughs> I really need to get a new stick blender. I've ran my stick blenders into the ground and now they don't mix nearly as well. And by the way, if you have a stick blender that's on the fritz, it will put more bubbles and texture into your soap. It's just true facts with Katie Carson. True facts about the stick blender. Let's blend this up until just past emulsion. Excellent! I now must split this batter into five equal containies. So many containies, oh my gosh. As you can see, I used a black oxide in this bucket and it is stained. Oh, so heavy! I will not be returning back to my big containy, so I must give it a good scrapey scrapey. Get all of that soap into these containers. Let's add color. It really doesn't matter what order I go in for the colors because it's just five equal portions. Like, I'm not having to put any specific one in any specific container. Another one, just pop that in there. I am going to blend these into the soaps using my spatula first, just to make sure that we're on track with where I want to be. And the final addition, rad! Okay, I'm gonna start with the lightest color first. Pretty sure I know what this one is gonna look like and that that is going to be perfect. Looks good. Let's blend this one up. Ooh, mysterious. That looks good. Wow, that looks really good too. Okay, these are some lucky guesses. Okay, really rad. So this looks good and I'm gonna go ahead and add my fragrance oil. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this up real quick with my stick blender. I've added in the secret fragrance and then we're gonna start pouring these into our mold. All right guys, let's pour. Okay, I'm gonna pour kind of quickly because this soap is setting up for various reasons. It doesn't actually matter for this particular design because I'm going to run a hanger through it. So it doesn't really matter if it's kind of gloppy. In fact, it may end up making the hanger look a little bit better if it is. So no big deal there. Just gonna pour everything in. Looks good. Pour this guy in now. Kind of some big gloopy bits there. I'm gonna shoot for three passes, may end up only making two, just kind of depends. And now that I've made those first straight passes, I'm gonna start by pouring in basically anywhere I want. Okay, this is the last pass. 
I'm gonna pour kind of big. I'm not gonna worry about scraping out my containers because as y'all can see, I'm in a little bit of a rush, but I'm not worried again because we're putting a hanger through it. So I know my design is gonna look close to what I wanted and what I drew up initially. Just gonna plop this in. It's kind of funny what you can get away with with soap making because you might look at this and be like, wow, that's a hot mess, but it won't look like that once you've cut the bar. All right, good enough. Now I'm just gonna stick my color mixer in here. This is available at Brambleberry and on Amazon as well. It's just a bendy hanger. All right, I'm gonna start by putting this light color on top, sort of sprinkling it around everywhere. I think I saved a little much. <laughs> might save a little less next time. I'm actually gonna try two different tops because I wasn't very specific on my design on what I wanted. Uh, the colors are the main thing for this soap, not really the texture of the top. So I might swirl it, see how it looks, but I think it's gonna be too thick and will probably be too thick in the future. So I think we'll probably end up texturing it. Okay, let's try swirling. Oh no, no, this is never gonna work. Look at that. <laughs> I am gonna swirl it a little bit here at first just to kind of move those colors around so that when I texture it It's not just one huge glob of a certain color, but yeah, this this is gonna be Little little too thick for the swirling clearly. All right, so let's go ahead and texture. I got my spoon here I wonder if I should I think I should Yes, we shall add a little mica to the top, I think. It just looks so pretty with a spoon swirl to have some mica on the top. All right, so let's start. This is really, really thick, you guys. Super, super thick. It's not even smoothing the mica, really, like I thought it might. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. Now it's moving it, <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, dang, I'm not even gonna have time to really texture the top, am I? I've made some peaks on top of this soap so I'm going to go kind of knock them down in the middle here just run my little swirling wand around the top just real quick this one doesn't have very many just some right here this one has a lot excellent and now we glitter just gonna put a little bit right down the middle here. <laughs> Another lovely glitter right down the middle. All right, sprinkle a teeny tiny bit of a very special glitter that I use often. Ha ha! And that's it, my friends, we are done. Well, I'm thrilled. The colors are perfect. The glitters are just, oh, just, chef's kiss. So I'm going to be back in 18 to 24 hours and we're going to split this slab into loaves and cut the loaves into bars after what comes next. Do you know? That's right. It's a quick commercial break. Look how this one's doing in the morning. Rise and shine. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on its side facing you guys because I don't want all those glitters to make drag marks across my soap. So I'm just gonna line it up this way very gently because if you push too hard, it will sort of make some lines on that soap. We'd like to avoid that if possible. So line that up there and I'm gonna press down gently, very gently. <laughs> gonna take out one from the middle and this is what it looks like on the inside. So first of all, I'm thrilled to death with these color choices. They turned out exactly the way I wanted. And even though the soap got a little bit thick on me, the inside design did not suffer from that at all. The hanger swirl was still able to pull everything that I wanted. As we creep ever closer to the end of the secret soap series, are soaps like this throwing you off or helping you determine what the theme is? You guys, be sure to leave your guesses down below. This soap will be available to purchase on September 5th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, royaltysoaps.com. We will also 
also be revealing the collection in the final video of the Secret Soap series. I hope you have an absolutely marvelous day today. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like harvesting some of the vegetables that you grew because you had a victory garden. I threw some tomato plants in this really ugly part of my yard that Lily was calling her fairy garden. And I was like, okay, it can be your fairy garden. I was just throwing plants that I didn't think were gonna make it in there. They grew better than the ones in my actual flower beds. They're taking over because they were indeterminate plants, meaning there's no determined size. They just grow forever. They have so many tomatoes on them and I haven't touched them. I haven't watered them, nothing. And they're in part shade and I think that's really helping because Texas heat. Anyway, pick some tomatoes if you have them. <laughs> I'm always going off on these long tirades about absolutely nothing. The soap smells so good. I could eat it. Or follow a Bob Ross tutorial and try your hand at painting. That's on my bucket list of things to do. Would you like to see me paint a picture? I've never painted a good picture in my life to my recollection. I have done some watercoloring, but painting with acrylics, never done it before. Either way, just do something that makes you happy. And here is the hint for today's secret soap video. Okay, bye. <laughs>